All right, guys, today we are in the shop, and this is the final video of the Valmar 6056 mounted on an unreferred strip till rig. Let's turn this thing around and we'll show you the details of this install. So you can see we got this cedar fit in here as tight as we could up to the rear chassis. Uh, the fan kind of limits how close we can get, but we've got some real nice brackets fabbed up here. We're attached there and we came up front and grabbed onto the framework up there as well. Real nice powder coated brackets. We've got our hoses coming straight out the back of that cedar, running up here, and then we ran them right up there along that uh, top frame. That's exactly where all the fertilizer tubes run as well. Now, the other part of this story is mounting the seed drops in between the rows. We talked about that in the previous video and We've got some brackets here made. We came off of this unit and kicked over so that we can drop down in here. You can see like this one's got a double holder on it. And again, we just mounted onto this frame unit, came over 15 inches, and that's gonna allow us to drop our seed there. Now we're using these air guard air brakes. And the reason we're using those is we wanna try and isolate our seed more in the middle. We don't really want our seed to be deflecting real far to either side. And with these air brakes, we can regulate how much airflow we're releasing here. So the idea is the, the air out of the fan will blow the seed full force through these tubes. But then once it hits this air brake, that air can release and it will be a gravity gradual drop from there. So we're not using the air to disperse left or right down here and possibly get into our rows. We're only using the air as means to get it to where we want and then the air brake will release the air. Now there's several different shims in here so you can control the amount of airflow that you're releasing. So when this thing gets to the field, we might say, well, we want to release less air we can take out some shims and it will do that. So you can see along here, we've got all these brackets mounted so that we've got our seed dropping right in between the rows. So pretty clean, pretty sweet setup. It turned out really nice. Of course, we had to run our ISO rate controller hose all the way up the frame had to put in an ISO Y splitter because the fertilizer takes an ISO and the cover crop takes an ISO. So we ran that up the frame, ran the hydraulics up the frame, and uh, this thing turned out pretty sweet. It's the second strip till rig that we have added cover crops to here in the last couple weeks, and uh, pretty excited. This one has got a blocker kit put in it because these are 24 outlet seeders. So we blocked them down so that we're running eight and a half. We cut down this one for our half rates out on the ends. So we're running the half there and the half there. Uh, so we used a blocker kit to do that. We've got our nice handy dandy ladder to be able to climb up and fill. And yeah, looks pretty clean. Can't wait to get this thing to the field and see how it works. So this is another project getting ready to go out the door seeding cover crops while strip tilling. Thanks for tuning in.